This story is about my first experience with stealing, otherwise known as purposeful borrowing. To preface this story, I should say that I grew up as a very sheltered child with pretty overprotective parents. To this day, I don't think I've ever heard my mom say the F word. Growing up, my four brothers and I weren't allowed to watch the Rugrats because my parents thought we'd start acting like brats ourselves. I couldn't see PG-13 movies until I was actually 13, and in 8th grade, I got grounded for sneakily going to see Borat with my friends. My parents were afraid that if we were exposed to the ills of the world at a young age, we'd copy them, so we weren't allowed to watch much TV or play violin or provocative games. Instead, the five of us entertained ourselves the natural way on our big farm by playing outside, building forts, running around barefoot, picking flowers, etc. Sort of like this. We spent most of our days playing with our neighbors. So one day, when I was about six years old, I went over for a play date with my friend Madison. She's only five years younger than me, but at the time, she looked less like this and more like this. So Madison and I were playing, yucking it up, having a great time, when her mom brought out her collection of antique doll, dollhouse dolls from when she was a child. I immediately focused in on one of the dolls because I didn't have one like it, and I knew it would be perfect in my dollhouse. Having been raised so sheltered, the concept of stealing didn't even really occur to me. I just knew I wanted to borrow the doll and see how it looked in my dollhouse. Not steal, just borrow. The longer we played with it, the more I knew I needed to borrow the doll, just for a little. So while Madison wasn't looking, I hatched a not-so-evil plot and hid the doll in my palm, and then snapped it in the back of the waistband of my little pants. Then we headed out to the block party as planned. By the time the block party was over, I was dark out, and I was so tired from running around with my friends. And I had forgotten about the doll. Half awake, I got ready for bed, brushed my little teeth, and took out my jammies. Then I went to the bathroom, and I pulled down my little pants, and I heard a little dink. I looked around to see where the noise had come from. Suddenly, I remembered that the doll had been in the waistband of my pants. I dropped down to the floor to search for it, but it was nowhere to be found. When I stood up, I saw the doll in the bottom of the toilet. I stared into the toilet, trying to decide what to do, and weighed the benefits of rescuing the doll or calling it a night, but I decided my only choice was to flush it. After all my hard work, I flushed my prize before I even got to see what the doll looked like in my dollhouse. Needless to say, that was my first and last experience with purposeful borrowing.